All right, what's up, guys? Um, I was looking through the content browser of Cinema 4D R12, and I found a method um, which you can make uh, like a big uh, mountains, canyons, rocks kind of thing like this, like what I have on my screen here. And um, I'm gonna teach you the method. I'll learn something, pass it on to you. Alright. Okay, I'm back. Uh, like I was saying, um, I'm going to teach you how to um, create this kind of <coughs> effect. Uh, first, start up a new scene in Cinema 4D and take a plane. As you can see, the plane is really small. So change the plane's width and length to 1,000 1, centimeters by 1,000 centimeters. Um, for this uh, method, it's going to require a lot of segments on your object, like 800 by 800, and it will lag your computer. So um, I suggest putting it to like 300 by 300, and then getting the the relative shape that you want and then for the final render crank up the segments it could crash your computer if you don't have enough uh, CPU or RAM but um, yeah so you gotta watch out so, uh, once you have your plane in in 1000 by 1000 I put mine to 300 by 300 just for now I'm gonna grab a displacer and I'm gonna put it the child of my plane and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into object and I'm going to go height 400 and keep it on vertex normal. And then we're going to come into the shader. In the shader, put a layer. And then click on the black screen in your layer and click shader again and grab a gradient. As you can see already, our gradient um, is making is kind of following um, our our plane is following our gradient sorry you can see where it's white it goes up and where it's black it doesn't so black it's low and then as it gets brighter and brighter and brighter it goes higher and higher and higher so if we click on our gradient and let's say we want to make a mountain we'll change it to 2d circular and right away you can see the shape changes but we don't want it to this is like an invert mountain so we're going to change the black to where the white is and the white to where the black is there we go that's something more like it but it's too smooth so we're going to add a bit of turbulence to our mountain here i'm going to change it to yeah 10 turbulence is fine octaves i'm going to change it to eight and let's go size 50 I'm just gonna mess around here with all this kind of stuff and boom you can already see we already have like a mountain top going on up here it's coming coming along quick okay now that we got our first green I'm gonna go shader and I'm gonna add a noise and it just automatically just rapes our mountain and puts it into like this crazy thing so I don't know, I'm just gonna, and you guys can just uh, mess around and change it to what you want it to be. I'm just messing it around, messing around with all of this to just honestly see what I can make. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Well, I do know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm making. And basically the concept of this method is to just if you know how to work it, um, then you can make really nice things. Like, look, if you want to make a bottom of a sea, or I don't know what you're going to make with that. It just looks crazy. And then you just you can just keep adding um, random things here. And... 
Um, trying to make it more mountain like again. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's a little bit too small. I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger. And right at the very end, I'm gonna put uh, like a light gray. So kind of, it's kind of like a volcano. Um, too much turbulence. I want like 11. There we go. Uh, eight. Let's go eight. Uh, sign scale seventy five. And let's go. Eighty seed. Let's go like seven. And it's gonna rotate around. That's really laggy. And as you can see, just from um, messing around with these things, look. And now I'm gonna crank. It. I'm gonna crank up the segments, and it's gonna it's gonna lag hard. See, as you can see, it's it has to prepare the render. It doesn't just show up. Um, as you can see, it's extremely highly detailed because of all our segments. Um, but yeah, this is extremely effective way to make, it almost looks realistic. And um, let's see if I have a, a texture pack here. Um, or a material pack of some sorts. Beauty right here. Watch, watch this guys, this, this is gonna look beautiful. Um, change that I'm not sure if I have to change the mapping or anything but um yeah this is I'm I'm gonna be using this method a lot now ooh that's ugly that's ugly that's ugly that's ugly wait I don't want the displacement map on that's why is one it normal? All right, let's see how this looks. I don't like that black. Um, why is there an alpha channel? I'm sorry, I'm just I'm trying to make this texture look better because it has like black spots all over it and it's not really what I want. Okay, here we go. That's beauty. That's a beauty. Look at that. Um, it, it almost looks like a real rock or a real mountain or whatever. It If I have like a little bit of water or like lava on the top spewing out some smoke coming out, it's a really, really good technique, and um, I'm happy I can teach it to you guys. You can learn a lot just from going through this content browser. If you go, with, like, Prime, and then, um, let's say, look, Displacement Formers. This is where I found it. Volcano, water, somebody made a temple from a disformer or a displacer canyon and you basically just open up these scenes look how they're set up and you learn how to do stuff um yeah it's it's just great like i learned this method to five minutes so I just wanted to teach you guys it um i hope you guys like this i love this and um if you like this tutorial, give me a thumbs up. If you like all my videos, subscribe to me, give me a sub, um, comment, 
if you have any comments, comment if you have any questions, uh, if you have any other suggestions or things that you want to learn, I'll try to learn them for you and then teach them to you. Alright guys, well, um, I guess I'll see you guys next time and peace out.